Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to a new vlog. Today is a very exciting day. Charlie and I are heading to Ibiza this afternoon. Cannot wait for a few days in the sunshine to relax ahead of our upcoming wedding. Now, very exciting <laughs> announcement or um, reveal, I guess. If you guys did not watch to the end of the last vlog, this may be the first time you're seeing my new smile. Dun, dun, dun. I spent, oh my goodness, I've been doing emails up here. My laptop is precarious. I spent around four hours in Dr. Tom's dentist chair last night after, in between our trips to the Chelsea Flower Show and I could not be happier with the result. So I have had, I've been going through Invisalign for the last year pretty much and finally got my teeth to the position that I wanted. Dr. Tom is so incredible at really looking at your smile and suggesting ways that it can be improved in a really natural way. I compare him to a haute couture designer in that he really pays attention to all the detail and designs you a smile that is perfect for your face. Just could not be any more thrilled with how my smile now looks. If you want to see the process, um, of the composite bonding, I definitely recommend checking out the end of the last vlog. I know it was a super long one, but this is the finished result. I can't stop staring at it. I can't stop staring at my teeth in the mirror, um, which I know sounds like a really weird thing to say, but for someone that has been self-conscious about their smile pretty much their entire life, it is making me very happy. So very grateful to Dr. Tom. If you have got an inkling that you would like to improve your smile in any way, big or small, then I could not recommend visiting him any more highly. He's super friendly, the whole team are just amazing, and he really listens to what you want and will make loads of different suggestions. And for me, the priority was that it looked really natural, I wanted a wide smile. I I always will be a big tooth kind of person, and I don't mind that, I think it kind of suits me to have big teeth but yeah absolutely thrilled i now have a wire between behind my teeth not between my teeth and i now also have a retainer that i'll wear in bed this is really funny i guess this is uh what was required to make the molds from my for my retainer so this is my teeth <laughs> looks like dentures so funny um but yeah I just thought I would update you on that because I am very, very happy with my smile. I don't even have any whitening on my teeth. I swear this lipstick makes my teeth look whiter. Anyway, I'm doing my final little bits of packing, fueled by a nice coffee. And I just literally, this moment, 20 minutes ago, had a delivery of pieces and I wasn't sure if they were going to make it in time for the trip but I'm so glad that they have arrived. So without further ado I'm going to do a little try on for you of these last minute bits and then let's head to the airport and head to Ibiza. Okay my darlings here is the first dress from my order, this beautiful floral dress with pockets. I feel like this is a really fantastic trans seasonal dress with it being this really lovely kind of bronzy brown floral pattern, beautiful striped uh, trim on the neckline and the belt is actually double sided so you can wear it as a stripy belt or you can wear it floral side round. These pieces are all from a brand which is fairly new to me called Goelia, I'll leave the spelling on the screen here and I'll leave all of the bits linked down below. Goelia is a pioneering Chinese fashion brand. They are inspired by nature and culture, so a perfect fit for our upcoming travels. And the quality of the materials is what really makes this brand exceptional and the beautiful designs. So I'm very excited to share with you some of my favorite bits from their current collection. This is the most beautiful length, very elegant, very timeless. Let's add some accessories. When I was learning about the Goelia brand, I was learning about something called Cheng Fashion, which is basically choosing high performance fabrics from all around the world to find the very best pieces, the very best fabric for the designs. They are all as sustainably sourced fabrics as possible and 
personally I just absolutely love the silhouettes the fabrics are all super breathable and they're the kind of pieces that I can wear for both smarter and more casual occasions I have added my little aqua zero heels because they quite literally go with everything I feel that this looks absolutely gorgeous with my Prada little mini bag too the good thing about this kind of color combination is that it literally goes with all of my accessories so this is dress number one and this is a potential dress for flying in as well it's a really nice fit so it's not too tight anywhere so very comfortable for a flight albeit a short one still want to be comfortable and stylish Okay, my darlings, we are into dress number two. I have to also comment, considering I'm about to pack all of these in a suitcase, how lightweight this fabric is. So perfect if you are sticking to a luggage allowance. I think my allowance is 32 kilograms, which is quite a lot, but I have already packed quite a lot of outfits. So this is the next dress and is the most beautiful floral, I would say, mid axi it's maxi but not quite touching the floor which is perfect so i started off by styling it without anything going on here but it does actually come with where have i put it oh right here it does come with a belt we all know how i like to put straw belts with everything but let's give it a try with the belt that it comes with super long belt my goodness this is probably gonna wrap around me like four times and i have to again say the quality of this fabric is absolutely exceptional i think that is something i need to learn more about this chain fashion um but it's all about the performance and quality of the material so this is a silk dress so lovely and breathable which is fantastic in a warmer climate and they do use 100 percent mulberry silk which is just the top quality really beautiful oh, that looks gorgeous <laughs> i actually i would quite happily have my bridesmaids wearing something like this how stunning oh it's so pretty it's like a garden party in a dress you've got this really lovely this actually oh i think it's rose hip yeah pretty sure that's rose hip got this gorgeous pleating detail to the bodice i love an elasticated detail around the neckline and then you can make the sleeves a little bit shorter like little puff sleeves if you want you could wear them oh my gosh you can actually make a square neckline <gasps> that is so pretty I love a multi-use dress and this belt the fact that it's so wide and yet the same color as the dress it is super flattering i feel like it really pinches you in um so love that this is dress number two again i start with the aquazuras and <laughs> i'm such a creature of habit but this is literally my go-to styling with a little straw bag how stunning i think it looks better with the sleeves pulled down a little bit got this really delicate ruffle detail there how beautiful i love this i think this is going to be a holiday favorite also with the fabric i feel like even if it's not perfectly ironed or steamed it's still going to look great because you've got so much detail on there but yeah big fan of this let me know what you guys think what are your first impressions of these goelia pieces Oh my goodness, darlings, I wish that you could feel <laughs> this dress. This is quite possibly the softest, silkiest fabric I think I have ever had on my body. It literally feels, I feel naked. <laughs> I feel like I don't even have anything on my body. It is so lightweight. The color of this dress is, for me, the color of the season. Pistachio is what I'm gonna call this. I mean, look at this silhouette. It is the most beautiful, the fabric has got the most beautiful hang to it. You've got this gorgeous design detail like these pleats on the bodice, um, this little pin tuck around the waist. You've got such a delicate little tuck detail on the sleeves here, which is so pretty. It did come with this little ribbon of fabric, which I guess you could use if you want to for a little tie around the waist. The length is just below the knee, so a very elegant length. Personally, I don't know if it needs a belt, but if you want one, if you want to create a little bit more femininity around the waist, then you've got that option. Otherwise, you could tie this around your handbag or pop it in your hair. In fact, that's a really cute idea. That is such a nice way of linking your handbag into your outfit. How adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That is so cute. But yeah, this material is absolutely sensational. The colour for me is the colour of the year. It's so comfortable, so elegant. And again, perfect for you on holiday because it's so lightweight. Even if it is 
even if it's super warm outside, you're not gonna overheat in a material as beautiful and lightweight as this. Look how stunning. And it is a wrap dress, which I know so many people find ultra comfortable. So successful first impressions of this brand so far. Let me know what you guys think and which is your favorite. Okay, this is quite possibly one of the most adorable outfits I think I have ever tried on. Two pieces from Goelia. I decided that as much as I love dresses, I do really need to push the boat out and try a few singles as well. So this is a gorgeous, lightweight, again, the most beautiful quality, silky blouse. And it's got a very delicate, as you can see, floral pattern all over it. So pretty, You've got a little Peter Pan collar, which is such a lovely detail. Little Peter Pan collar, which is such a lovely detail. A very delicate, puff on the sleeves just created by these beautiful pleats and then again this really lovely little pin tuck detail on the sleeves on the sleeves here trousers i am loving how high-waisted they are they've actually got an elasticated section at the back so they're very comfortable and perfect perfectly well fitting they do not have pockets i guess they've decided that that would potentially alter the super streamlined look of them i think that a pair of wide leg white trousers is a very classic wardrobe addition and they're also they feel like they're going to be really comfortable and not crease too much so for example if you are on the go uh traveling i guess because travel was in mind from part of the goelia founders influences for the brand then a lot of these pieces are perfect for travel they hang really nicely the color is absolutely beautiful love how high-waisted they are i think that makes them super flattering Again, I've started with my aquazuras and a little basket bag, and I think this is such a gorgeous look. Potentially, I might keep this outfit on for flying. I think it's a really good flight outfit. Very comfortable, very breathable because of the beautiful materials, but I do have a knitwear piece that I'm gonna share with you as well, which might be a little bit safer when it comes to the air con on an airplane, um, but this is traveling outfit option number one. Well, my darlings, this is something a little bit different for me. I have decided to see how I look in a striped knit. This is a woolen striped knit cardigan. You could wear it open with the buttons undone or wear it as a top closed up like I have done now. It is giving me major Josie Goes to Paris vibes. I feel like a lot of people wear striped things on the regular and I've never really tried it. And now I'm wondering why. I think it looks so timeless, so chic, really beautiful, delicate gold buttons, a very simple and chic scoop neck. I think the stripes are very flattering. I love the contrast of the black and white. It just feels very timeless. It feels very Chanel kind of vibes. What bag should we style this with? Something wildly different, <laughs> not. Um, yeah, I feel like this is absolutely perfect, especially for traveling today, because wool is the material of this, and wool is really gorgeous for temperature regulating, adds a layer of warmth, super soft and comfortable, um, and I don't feel like I'm going to overheat in this either. I could pop a little vest top on, but I actually don't think I need to. I think it's the perfect temperature regulator. So very, very impressed with all of these pieces. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. Um, and now without further ado, I need to pop all of these in my suitcase. You'll see me styling these pieces again during our time in Ibiza. As they say in Spain, vamos. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I have got a discount code for Goelia, which will be on the screen here. And all of the information for how to get the discount will be in the description box down below. Very important bit of information that I nearly jetted off without telling you, but there we go. Enjoy. <laughs> Charlie and I have come to spend the next five days here in sunny Ibiza. She says optimistically because the weather forecast is a little bit ropey but as you can see glorious sunshine at the moment. We 
don't have a lot of stuff planned actually we just are here to chill basically relax and unwind for today it's actually already day two but uh, you've not missed much we arrived around midday yesterday we spent some time down by the pool had a lovely lunch checked into our room which is absolutely gorgeous the hotel is absolutely beautiful we chose this place because it's got a great gym and nice healthy food so we are going to try and stay on top of our health and fitness routines while we are here this morning we are already did about an hour and a half workout peloton have got this new thing on their app where it's like a full gym workout um it suggests all these different exercises you can follow so i did that and it was um it was great anyway so we are actually heading to a different hotel this morning we're not moving hotels don't worry no stress but there is another hotel 15 minutes from here that has an amazing pool area also really nice food it's a gorgeous place and um we're going to spend the day there because the rest of the time we're in ibiza we're going to be at our hotel so that's the plan for today. I've popped on this lovely dress from Three Graces London or Three Hunter. I think it's Three Graces London. I love it. Um, it's about 24 degrees here, so a very pleasant temperature. And my little Hermes sandals. I will try and show you a few of the outfits throughout the clip, throughout the vlog. Um, I think I did take a few clips last night of my lovely yellow Hobbs dress. So I'll pop those clips in here. Without further ado, we're just waiting for the concierge chaps to bring our car up and we're gonna head over to the other hotel where we're gonna spend the day. Well, it's no surprise the first thing I do upon arriving at our hotel is checking out the gardens. It's really wild and wonderful here. We actually visited just for the day a couple of years ago and my goodness, the gardens have grown so much. They've got some Ibethan fruit trees. <laughs> I'm not sure what's, what kind of fruit that is actually. Maybe a fig? Don't know, I'm gonna take a closer look this tree here and then you've got this rambling erigeron down at the base of this beautiful old tree it looks like an olive tree from its um, base but definitely not an olive tree um, and then this really beautiful wildflower which has just spread all over this rockery if I remember correctly down here they've got a little mini kitchen garden but in these areas it always tends to be more of a herb garden let's go and check it out I remember these old railway sleepers. They've got some frames here, so they were planning on doing some climbing beams, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if it just gets too hot here. Although they have got irrigation. Anyway, I promise this isn't going to be another gardening vlog. Let's carry on exploring. So it's after lunch time now. It's not very busy, but this area is called the Farmer's Market Restaurant can't help but wonder if this might be one of the places where Charlie got the inspo for our end on end brick um, pathway in the garden but look at this table it's like one ginormous wooden um, trunk <laughs> live edge wood again maybe subliminally the inspiration behind our greenhouse although no I'm definitely gonna give Dales with the credit for that but it just looks gorgeous I love how they've got the turquoise tiles mixed in so beautiful
we have made it to one of my favorite places on the entire island, which is Atsaro, the Atsaro Hotel. It's about 15 minutes away from where we are staying, so a perfect place to come and spend the day. The lounging cabanas here, the pool is just there, and the vegetable garden is just here, so it's safe to say I am very much in my happy place right now. Every time I come here, I'm just blown away by how beautiful the surroundings are. It's very natural in keeping with nature you feel like you're really in the gardens while you are sunbathing which is gorgeous um anyway less of me let me show you this amazing spot oh my gosh it doesn't even look real does it it's just so beautiful i'll show you now while it's quite quiet in the morning because i don't want to capture loads of people in their swimwear um but as you can see these cabanas here so you've got a nice shady spot really beautiful long swimming pool and then the vegetable garden which has got even bigger since we were last here this isn't even the main vegetable garden this is just the like cabana <laughs> vegetable garden we'll go around the other one later look at these ginormous artichokes <laughs> my goodness wow i don't think i've ever seen one that big actually absolutely incredible and then this beautiful lavender which looks like hitchcock lavender i did promise this wasn't going to turn into a gardening vlog but i can't help it <laughs> beautiful herb beds, more cabanas in amongst the gardens and then if we meander our way around here oh my gosh I just love it here so much if you guys ever come to Ibiza then make sure you visit this place you can book the cabanas for the day and the cost of the cabana then comes off your food bill so I think it works out pretty fair um, so over here we have got a little sauna I mean what an amazing setup so the ideal thing to do for um, inflammation and immunity and all those good benefits is to do a cold dunk and then a hot sauna cold hot cold hot cold that's the way to do it so they've got a little ice bath under the dappled shade of the trees and if I remember correctly the stalks are painted white so that you um, to protect them from mosquitoes I think <laughs> I think that's the strategy and then there's the most beautiful spa area over here this will be deja vu if you watched our Ibiza vlog from a couple of years ago but I'll just show you how amazing the spa is and they've actually renovated the gym as well so that's got all new techno gym equipment and if you listen carefully you can just hear all the frogs <laughs> having their morning chatter look at this spa reception floating on a moat of water lilies stunning these are the treatment rooms we had some lovely massages when we stayed here a couple of years ago look at this gorgeous And then the iconic swimming pool, super long swimming pool, great if you fancy doing some lengths. Look at that. And it is perfect blue sky day. So we've got a watermelon, strawberry and mint welcome juice. They don't have any single use plastic here, so we've got these little um, composable straws. Very refreshing. I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm going to get into my swimming cozy. Just gonna do a quick outfit of the day before I go and get changed. You might be able to spot Charlie <laughs> sunbathing in the background. Just love this dress. I think the fit is absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Outfit of the day in a tree. Little Emma's sandals, least grippy sandals in the entire world. And then using my little Prada bag as my handbag for today. Okay, a little update. We had a couple of hours of lovely sunshine, but now it has started to go a bit cloudy, so we thought this is a good time for us to go and grab some lunch. The food here is so good, and I'm so excited for patatas bravas and jamón ibérico. Just popped on this cute little dress, which is from a brand called Johanna Ortiz, and I think my swimming costume, this one, is also the same brand i think I might have got that completely wrong and i bought with me this straw rive gauche bag uh, which is from my teresa i will leave all my 
outfits and bits linked down below. Um, but yes, I can see blue skies coming, so hopefully it's just a moment of cloud and a little tinkling of rain, and then the sun will be back after we've had some lunch. We are at Gorgeous That Sorrow. So you have been here before, but never for like the day, Yeah, right? my friend was doing like a venue recce because she was gonna get married here oh and she was gosh. having a look around. So I came and got to do that fun stuff. How stunning. We found out, so last, last time Charlie and I were here when we stayed, there was a wedding and it honestly looked like so much fun. The band was insane. Turned out it was the Fendi family. No way, mm. that's so cool. Very cool. It just has a very good reputation here, like great yeah. food, everything's kind of fork, I, I would say um, farm, farm to, to table. Fork. Yeah, farm, farm to fork, farm yeah. to table, table to fork. Yeah. Oh, table, fork to table. Yes, it's gorgeous. And we are both dressed as, um, we're both dressed vegetably. I'm here in the floral. I love it. And Joyce is here all nice green, and green, as always. Just blending in with vegetable patches. Exactly. <laughs> we're just walking off our luncheon, which was sensational. Oh, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. There's a gorgeous, ginormous vegetable garden here. It's just absolutely stunning. It's huge. I can see a sea of rainbow chard. But I did just order a chocolate mousse. Oh, it's a I love a chocolate it's mousse. Loud. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's like sensory overload here because everyone where you turn it's just stunning and it smells so it. good when you walk around the entire resort it's like yeah mm. jasmine everywhere Sen scent sensation mm, sensational one could say sensational <laughs> love it <laughs> we have just found we were just saying how this hotel everything is like wild they just let the gardens grow it's overgrown it's, it's overgrown wonderful. in the best way ever by the way i'm just sitting here with my camera bag? oh my gosh shall i show them my bag show the vlog the bags right. the camera's not even camera <laughs> camera is just hovering. We're propping Em's camera We're we'll now propping my, my camera. Oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let's do this properly, love. You see, we have a proper YouTuber in the house over here. Who will use anything as a tripod. This so is darling. I stun a Isn't she gorgeous? This is the Jimmy Choo version of my bag. <gasps> I love it. Guys, comment below. I think everyone's gonna prefer yours because mine's quite out there, but I, I kind of love it. It's I love the colors. Some vibes. It's giving Barbie goes to the beach. It's giving beach Barbie. I love it. Jimmy I do Choo. love it. Yeah. So if you gorgeous. didn't know, guys, it's actually from a brand called Jimmy Choo. It's, <laughs> it's not really big enough, so you might not know. Oh my God, I know. It's like, it's not exactly quiet luxury, <laughs> but we don't mind. That's the style of luxury, is that the new thing? Quiet luxury, oh, that's the vibe. Yeah. I wasn't sure on this dress before, but now, it's, I really love it. Got little pockets. Yeah. Matching with the jasmine, which you can't see, but it's right here and it smells. And a soundtrack of the birds. Mm. We have not ed edited that in. Yeah. There's genuine birds that are chirping oh above God. us. That's so sweet. I love it. Where's this dress from? This is Revolve Tula Rosa. Ooh. And it's just like little and cute. Little cutie. And it's kind of like your sandals are adorable. Oh, these are just H&M. Cut them H and M, and I feel a bit mortified because I think they're actually like dupes of dupes. But I didn't buy them for that reason. I just really liked them. But the dress, I feel like you would love this vibe. Mm, floral embroidery. Yes, we all know Damn. she loves floral embroidery. Floral embroidery. <laughs> it's Linda. Beautiful. Okay, next stop. Oh, next stop, the chocolate mousse. First, and the apple. Oh my god, that's so. Yeah. This is your camera. This is me on Josie's camera eating a chocolate in a new dress. The helicopter is landing. I think it's Prince Harry. Can you imagine? <laughs> Hello, my darlings. Good evening. It is a few hours later. We had a gorgeous afternoon at Atsaro. I think I took a clip on my phone because I didn't have my camera with me at the time, but they were setting up for the most beautiful wedding in the Orangery restaurant. It looked absolutely gorgeous. I think I have already seen the wedding on Instagram by some Instagram algorithm magic. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So we're back at our hotel now and by pure, pure, pure coincidence, there is actually an Olibar Brown party tonight. Olibar Brown being the brand that Charlie wears pretty much exclusively on a holiday, mostly swimming trunks, but also other beach attire. Um, not really too sure what to expect, but there is a party down on the beach 
oh well i think it's on the beach somewhere in the hotel <laughs> we'll find it shortly uh so we're just gonna pop along see if there's any familiar faces there have a drink or two and then we're gonna have a dinner at the hotel i think emma and matt are gonna join us as well which would be really lovely i have popped on this Zimmerman, I'm going to call it my Palm Beach dress because it reminds me of when Freddie and I were gallivanting around Palm Beaches. And then I'm just a little bit obsessed with this little bag. It is Rosantica. It's gorgeous with the little sparkly lemons. And then, sorry about the towels on the floor, Valentino rock studs. So that's the outfit of the evening. Sporadic curls in the hair because I forgot to bring anything to curl my hair with on this trip. Um, but I did borrow Matt's <laughs> wireless GHD for a few seconds at the Atsoro Hotel. Anyway, without further ado, let's go and find this party. <laughs> hotel boutique they've got lots of really nice bits actually some local designers from Ibiza and then they've got some brands that I recognize little knitted Chloe bag that's rather nice that's Anya Heimarsh I have popped on the Goelia dress which has got the beautiful floral pattern I think it's the rose hips yeah pretty sure they're rose hips really pretty off the shoulder dress my um, espadrilles from Malevi and little Prada bag. It's very comfortable with the elasticated waistband, which is great after a very large breakfast. So after this, we're going to pop into the town and then spend the rest of the day relaxing by the snow. A slight change of plan from our beach agenda because it's a tad cloudy, the sun's coming out, but we thought we'd do a little bit of exploring instead. We've come to a place called Terra Masia, which Em mentioned yesterday. Her and Matt had gone for lunch here and um, said it was lovely. It is Ibiza's largest organic farm. We're hoping it might be a little bit long, Dale would ask, yes. And I just checked them out on Instagram and realized um, that we actually, I think we came here four years ago. So let's see. Let's see if um, they've got some yummy food. version of raised beds, all very wild and wonderful. I'm not sure that this is a sunflower bed, full of some beautiful lavenders though. Lots of lemon trees. Forever getting gardening inspo. They've got origeron and lavender growing side by side next to this plant that we keep seeing everywhere surrounding their rows of vegetable gardens. It's absolutely beautiful, it looks really wild, it's almost the Ibizan <laughs> version of a herbaceous border. And this lovely row of lavender, I'm not sure if you can see all these beautiful white butterflies floating around, pollinating. It's nice and warm even though it is quite overcast. Beautiful. epic fail and a lovely epic fail because it was nice to have a look around the farm um, but it's lunchtime and we thought that there was a cafe there they'd run out of everything except that little pot of hummus that I showed you so we just had a very quick look around the gardens and we are back to the hotel now the sun's starting to come out hallelujah I'm not gonna lie it was starting to get us down a little bit how cloudy it was especially given that it's a heat wave and it's gorgeous in the UK right now um, but luckily the sun's coming out so we're gonna finally head down to the pool area after a morning of exploring and get some nice food I want to read my book a little bit chill out and this will be the first time that I'll have properly laid out in a bikini <laughs> the whole time we've been here but um, alas let's go and enjoy some sunshine
darlings. So we had a lovely afternoon in the end by the pool. The sun did come out, hallelujah. We had, um, or actually Charlie had a nice lunch. I was still really full from breakfast, which was a very big breakfast. And then we had some lovely ice cream in the sunshine. So two happy bunnies. After a very pampering shower, I've popped on one of my Goelia dresses for dinner. It's the beautiful, uh, do you know what? It's actually very similar color to the garden bedroom, pea green dress in this beautiful silky material. It is so lightweight. It actually feels like, to be honest, it feels like I'm not wearing anything. <laughs> it's super duper lightweight. And then my lovely Vanina bag and Valentino sandals. I will show you a little clip outside where the lighting is a bit better. But without further ado, we've got dinner at, it's called the North Restaurant here at the hotel tonight. So hopefully it won't take us too long to get served after the dramas of last night. But yes, let's head down and hopefully we'll catch the sunset. morning here in Ibiza. As you can see we have got some gorgeous sunshine which I'm thrilled about. I've actually just um, sat myself down in this little nook on the way to the pool to film some Instagram stories, always working for LMS um, because they have got some amazing new travel collections which I will show you. This vlog is not sponsored by LMS but I did shoot some stories for them and they always do the best little um, travel sets so I will just tell you what I just told my Instagram audience. This is called the Iconic Collection. This is retails for £85, worth over £127 and you get so many amazing full-size products or good size. I don't think they're fully full-size but large samples inside here. Sorry there is a jeep about to go past. You are balanced on two of the products, which is the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm and the Exfoliating Pads. So I'm using them as a tripod. But you also get the Frangipan Manoi Body Cream, which smells amazing. The Midnight Facial, which Charlie and I are both obsessed with. It's so hydrating and gorgeous as a night cream. This is their uh, Pro, Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. Again, perfect to have with you on holiday. And this is a beautiful, it's one of those like waterproof makeup bags featuring the chrysanthemum print from William Morris, which is just absolutely gorgeous. So I love that. And then, if you are already a hardcore Elemis fan and you are looking to top up on your favorites, now's a good time because this is their Glow Wild set. This is a free gift with purchase. I believe it's if you spend over 90 pounds on the website, so just pick up a couple of your favorite creams you'll get a little mini sample of the Pro Collagen Marine Cream. I've been using this the whole time we've been here as my cleanser. Oh, that is my hotel room key. I thought I'd lost that. A very jazzy little wooden room keys. So pop that back in there. Um, it's basically your whole routine for glowing skin. So you've got the cleanser, then you've got the Glow Boost Exfoliator, which is new to me. I've only been trying this recently, but it's a really fine exfoliator. So great for getting a glowing complexion. Pro Collagen Marine Cream, an iconic icon <laughs> from Elemis, and then the Glow Priming Moisturizer, which is fantastic as that final thing before you pop on your SPF. Really gets the skin glowing, looking healthy and fresh for summer. So this is a little freebie, free gift with purchase. So there we go. That is the Instagram stories that I've just been filming here. They were a little bit broken up because as you might be able to hear, there's like a little passageway there and there's lots of the um, hotel caddies like little tractors going around sorting out the rooms anyway now that the clouds have dispersed we didn't actually go to the gym this morning so i think we're going to go for a hike later on just to get our bodies moving and oh my goodness so i didn't bring anything with me on this trip to curl or do anything with my hair so last night i did the robe trip trick so i got the robe uh tie waistband from our hotel robe which is not even a fluffy robe it's like a linen tie and i did the silk sausage method 
and we have some curls. They're not the best curls shape-wise, but I just prefer to have a little bit of movement in my hair than um, just fluffy, straight fluffy hair. <laughs> I think it looks a little bit better, especially when I pin it up. So I thought that was very, um, what's the word? Um, not constructive. Inventive? Very inventive of me <laughs> to do that with the robe from the hotel room just proves that even if you do go away without hair tools you can get a little bit of movement anyway enough chit chat i'm gonna get onto a sunbed order myself an iced coffee and read a little bit more of my book i'm reading jesse's glucose revolution and it's very interesting very interesting and the ammo I feel like there's still so much here at the hotel that we haven't actually discovered yet. We keep hearing people talking about things like there's apparently a rose bar and um, there's a whole nother area of the gym which is like a crossfit area. There's saunas, steam rooms. We've not even checked out the spa area yet so definitely need to do that. Um, but yeah, it's a glorious day and Phil and Hannah are arriving in a couple of hours so hopefully we should be able to have lunch with them if it's a little bit cloudy this afternoon then perhaps we'll go for a nice little hike this is my commute down to the pool area it's got the most beautiful floral borders here let me show you i remember loving this area when we first uh came for the day look at these ginormous doors very typical of a spanish finca or spanish building these massive whitewashed buildings to keep the sun out uh to keep the heat out look at this gorgeous flower it almost looks like a calendula but it's huge a calendula cosmos i mean the branches of it are a little bit cosmos-esque but it's absolutely stunning look at this little walkway beautiful Gosh, in this lighting, I do look like I have caught the sun today. Luckily, we had a full day of sunshine and it was rather glorious. So our friends Phil and Hannah arrived at around midday. We spent a little bit of time relaxing by the pool, had a lovely lunch at the poolside bar. We went for a little swim in the sea. It is a little bit sharp intake of breath <laughs> how cold it is, but I feel like a year ago I would have been like oh no too cold for me and I would have not gone in but after all of our cold water swimming so and true. um your, your tolerance is so yeah much better now, I know so. I used to be so wimpy about going in cold water but well, you feel so we got straight in yeah feel really good for it um and so tonight is our last night the four of us are going out for dinner at a place called Palomas which is about 15 20 minutes away from the hotel I've popped on my three Graces, I always pause trying to remember the name. Um, a little dress, which I love, and my cute little Rosantica sparkly bag. I'm also going to take my sunglasses down because we're just going to have some nice sunset drinks down by the pool. I have been heavily relying on my Moroccan oil dry shampoo while we've been out here because even though I've been washing my hair nearly every day, just being out in the sun, it gets a little bit clacky, and this just makes it feel super clean and it's really good for blonde hair doesn't make my hair go gray one of my other beauty favorites obviously my clay de peau le serum my fragrance of the trip has been the floral street black lotus which is really lovely got my elemis bit ocean bottle spotlight toothbrush yes my usual usual beauty favorites are you ready darling yeah right let's go and have a sunset rose mm -hmm. 